Hey guys, Marlo back again, and I guess since I was able to attend Comic-Con this year, 2017, I thought I'd do another Comic-Con haul video. I don't think I've done this since 2015. I think in 2016 I was probably just too busy with my move to the Philippines, but uh, since I'm back, I thought I'd do another one. So hopefully this will be a tradition and I'll remember to try to keep doing this every year. Um... We'll, we'll start off with the uh, Funko Pops figures here. These I actually got after the show. They're still con exclusives. But I was able to obtain these after the show. I only attended for two days. I typically go on uh, Wednesday, which is preview night, and it's only three hours long. And then Thursday. I don't like the crowds of the weekends, but the weekends are, I guess, a lot more fun because that's when all the uh, celebrities and special guests tend to show up. Uh, again, it's just way too crowded for me. These are a bunch of miscellaneous uh, postcards and whatnot that I picked up over there. Just advertisements and whatnot. Oops. Something from the Four Horsemen, their Power Lords collection. Some cool art there. Gentle Giant stuff that was on sale at the show. This was kind of neat. I got to see this collection by Russell Branton, I guess. He had a very impressive Star Wars collection. Let me move all this stuff aside. Just all these awesome figures that I guess are going to be going on sale. They're just in immaculate condition. And they were there being shown to the public. Or, uh, I guess the meantime until they're gonna be auctioned off or whatever so some cool stuff there some free comics there's always tons of comics being handed out there so I don't know just some stuff I picked up while I was walking around these are the totes that I got this year every year you know they hand out tote bags to everyone sponsored by Warner Brothers the last few years and I have the uh, Justice League movie tote bag here and also the hour not hour the uh, <laughs> arrow uh, tote bag and they both came with these uh, arrow pins I guess there were different ones being handed out but I got the same thing I was hoping I would get something different but oh well um, next we can move on to some of these exclusive comics this is Avengers number eight I believe and this is limited to 1000 pieces by J. Scott Campbell, and this is X-Men number one. Also limited to about a thousand pieces signed by J. Scott Campbell. And uh, those are pretty valuable books right there. If you're, uh, you know, variant comic collector uh, and like to collect all your variants. And uh, let's see, don't know where to go from here. <laughs> this is from Skybox. This is the Walking Dead Shiva Force set of figures. And you're wondering why there's two. It's because there's a variation. This is the Bloody set. As you can see, there's some blood splatter all over. On Ezekiel, you can see it on Michonne there. And of course on Rick Grimes and with the clean set basically the same figures but of course they're all clean so kind of a cool set because it's done in the style of the uh, 80's G.I. Joe figure line by Hasbro so if you are familiar with that toy line, you'll immediately recognize the style of artwork and uh, <laughs> the packaging design there. So that's kind of neat. Um, every year I always pick up sketchbooks and I was able to cl complete the uh, Stanley Lau set of uh, sketchbooks that I was uh, missing out on. I never got number one. So I finally got that in number two. And the new one for this year is... Uh, book four so great art by an artist I really like and got to meet Ryan Meanderding 
He's one of the uh, main concept designers for Marvel Studios, for the Cinematic Universe. Of course, you know, had to get that signed. And some great artwork inside by the artist. And what's cool, after meeting him, I also got a piece of original art from him. This is an original art page from his sketchbook. Some uh, renderings of the Incredible Hulk. And while I'm at it, I also got this poster. A really cool Logan movie poster. So that was kind of neat. Way over there, we got another big tote bag. That's a Michonne Walking Dead tote bag that I got when I got the uh, Shiva Force figures there um, from the Koto Bokia booth. Sorry, got a catalog right there showing some upcoming stuff from Koto Bokia. Give you guys a quick look at that. Of course, more stuff from their shoujo line and whatnot and over there I picked up this Wonder Woman Kotobukiya statue I was looking for that for a while and I got a good deal on it I think it was the last one at that, that day showing I don't know if it was the last one during the whole show but I was able to pick that up and I got some uh, what was it now it was like a rubber charm of Wonder Woman with uh, a lanyard but I already gave those away, so I can't show that in the video, unfortunately. From General Giant, I got these miniature bobbleheads, Secret Wars, and these miniature Superpowers figures, which are kind of neat. From the NECA booth, I got the Ninja Turtles box set there, as well as a Coraline display set, Death from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, uh, Sewer Alien there, and Dutch. This is the jungle briefing version of Dutch. And again, all these are exclusive to Comic Con 2017. Got a couple fans, they were handing these out. Always dig the uh, free stuff. This was at the Temashi Nations booth. So that's in promotion for um, Pacific Rim. And I guess this was given away for the Leica experience, showing some of the Stuff again from Coraline. Um, where else? Where else? Where else? Oh, okay. Mark Brooks sketchbook. I dig his art quite a bit. You can see me see some of that. Um, the catalog. Or the... Uh, what do you call it? The program book. I'm sorry. For uh, Comic Con. Get these every year. Lots of great fan art inside. And every year they pay tribute to something in the comics world, be it an artist or a certain character or something like that. Um, free magazine here showing the Defenders. That's coming up by Netflix. Let's see, we saw those. Another sketchbook from another artist I like, Adam Hughes. Some great stuff inside, full color. So, Adam Hughes, of course that was signed too, right there. Um, more J. Scott Campbell stuff. This is more of his Marvel art. And uh, just to give you a quick look, lots of J. Scott Campbell fans out there. So that's a neat book. And I also got this great Jeff Darrow hardcover pencil art book. This is a bunch of his pencil art. And what's cool about this one was it came with a limited edition print signed by the artist. And I got number 13 there by the artist. And I also picked up some original art from the artist. Some kaiju, since I'm a big kaiju fan. That's Gamera drawn by Jeff Darrow, and also Ultraman. Here's a Mezco toy catalog showcasing some of their upcoming releases. 
some of their 112 scale figures which are really cool and they're really stepping it up with these figures um, let's see what else I think I covered most of it. I guess not, uh, last but not least, got this 1-6 scale signed by Stan Lee himself with the seal. 1-6 scale figure. So, uh, very cool to add this to the collection. The likeness isn't as good as the Hot Toy Stan Lee, which I also own, but, you know, you got to give this guy credit. I mean, he's a legend, you know. We have all this great stuff from the Marvel, Marvel Universe because of Stan. <clears throat> and the guy's going to be turning 95 pretty soon. So, you know, he's, he's up there. So there's not too much more time to obtain autographs with him or, you know, take pictures with him. So you fans out there, try to do it while you can. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get something officially signed and sealed with Stan Lee's autograph. Um, I think that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this San Diego Con haul of mine. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up, share the video, like the video. And take care, guys. Keep on collecting. Look at all this crazy stuff. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. All right, guys. Bye-bye.